Good morning, guys. I uh, hope you're enjoying these videos. Uh, we love to share our grips with you guys daily. Scott, Brian, and Joey do a great job. If you are enjoying these videos, I would ask you to click on that like button and let us know that. Uh, share them with your family and your friends, man. Uh, download our app if you don't have it already. And uh, if you want to uh, join one of our life groups, you can learn about them right there. And you can learn a little more about us with that app. Thanks so much for your kind comments you make on uh, YouTube and our, our videos. We appreciate that a lot. Let's jump in this morning. My title, the only one we can trust is God. Don't forget that, guys. The only one we can trust is God. My G is Judges 12, verse 2 and 3. And uh, the uh, pe men of Ephraim are talking to uh, Jephthah right here before where I start in verse 2 and 3. Jephthah answered them, I and my people were engaged in a great battle with the Ammonites. And although I called you, you didn't save me out of their hand. When I saw that you, when I saw that you wouldn't help, I took my life in my own hands and crossed over to fight the Ammonites. And the Lord gave me victory over them. Now why have you come back up today to fight me? My reveal. Jephthah had called on the men of Ephraim to come and help him in this battle with the Ammonites, but they did not show up. Uh, they even acted like they didn't know that he had called them, but, but he, uh, he, they, they knew he had called them to, 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 for help. But guess what? The good news was God gave him victory anyway. My implementation, guys, I must call on the Lord for all my help because in and, and strength. We cannot put our hope in this life, and we must trust God. That's the only person that we can trust. Let's be real. People on earth will let us down. I'll let you down. We don't mean to let you down, but we're broken, and we just fail to help sometimes. Uh, we need to be in a good community of brothers in Christ, and we're going to try to help you as much as we possibly can. We should uh, get strength from each other and remember that uh, we can help each other, but there will be times when I think you've let me down, you think I've let you down, and here's what we got to do in those times, guys. We must extend grace. We can't go around being mad and frustrated just because we thought somebody was going to help us. It's just something we need to do, and I want you to remember from this one today we need to be full of grace and extend it to people that let us down. But remember this, we've got to stay close to God and let God be our source of strength and, and our hope that we have. Here's my prayer, guys. God, you're the only one that we can trust. We just thank you so much for you and who you are and how you will always be there for us. I know I've let people down, Lord. Forgive me for that. And I know that I've been let down sometimes, Lord, and help me to extend grace to the ones that let me down, Lord. Again, just thank you for this little quick lesson so we can learn that, hey, at the end, we need to trust you and you alone, Lord. That don't mean we can't have to can't have a great band of brothers like we do in In His Grip, but sometimes we're going to let each other down. So forgive us for that, Lord. Lead and guide us and take care of us. For it's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. Okay, guys, remember this. The one we got to trust is God. He's the one that we can really depend on. But we also need to be in a community like we have. And I ask you to just be in this community. But every now and then, some of us are going to let you down. So just uh, forgive us, extend grace to us, and uh, let's keep moving on. We're going to try our best to never let you down, but we will sometime. Again, remember, the only one we can trust is God. Here we go, guys. Let me pray us out. Heavenly Father, thank you for being you. Thank you for being steadfast and trustworthy in everything, Lord. Just, I ask you to lead our lives in a way that pleases you, not us. Help us to be the men you want us to be here on earth, not, not letting our families down, not letting our fellow brothers down, but sometimes we're going to do that, Lord. Just help us to be full of grace when we do that, and uh, help us to walk it out in a way that pleases you every day, for it's in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, see you tomorrow.